when did you get into performance? Was it early on in your career or, or is your in your life or is it just recently? So like, did you yeah. act, do you have any acting or performing experience like as a kid or? Yeah, no, zero. Uh, zero, but I always wished I had enough uh, courage to do it because it was just such a scary thing. Um, it was actually my biggest phobia. And I think it was in like my midlife, I kind of hit a midlife crisis, at least I feel like it. So uh, it was one of those things where I just wanted to tackle my biggest phobia, which is getting on stage and speaking. Okay, so when was that? When was the first, uh, was it acting? And what method, what medium was it? It was actually an improv. And I was looking up shows to go watch an improv show. And they had a little tab, because um, it's online, I was buying online tickets, a little tab that said classes. And I was like, my first thought was to take a class? Um, never, that would kill me. And then my next thought jumped to, I got to do it. That's my thing. That's my midlife crisis thing. So signed up for a class. Um, I feel like it almost killed me, <laughs> just the, the, you know, the fear. But then after the class, I just fell in love with it. So I just started taking more classes and ended up um, uh, performing on stage with other groups or with a group, um, actually just moving through different groups and performing on stage and just loving it and learning so much. And then it moved into acting because I thought acting would help my improv and um, vice versa. So your first performance, do you remember it? I do remember it. It was, it was a friendly audience of family and friends. So it wasn't like throwing us to the wolves. And uh, it was prefaced, prefaced by this is a class performance, you know, and um, give them a warm welcome. This is something that they um, didn't, you know, didn't think that they would be doing. And they're probably scared. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> do you remember, were you scared? I mean, you mentioned the fear, but do you remember how the body felt um, right before going up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just um, describe that, you know, paint us a picture. Uh, if you will. Yeah, so let me go back. Um, I think I was like almost dry heaving. Like I, I just like, <laughs> I couldn't get a full breath in. Um, like everything was so shallow breathing, I think. And I would, I just remember, I remember my legs shaking actually. And on stage, <laughs> I think they were shaking. Um, but I just was like, I got to keep moving and walking or else I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> so, you know how you like make your legs really straight and then yeah. you faint. So I just knew not to do that. So I just kept moving my legs. So, oh. so yeah, yeah so that's interesting. So you, you had to channel that into like a body movement just so you can process that emotion. Yeah. Oh, that is interesting. So this move into acting, was it acting your next then uh, discipline that you learned? Yeah, it was. Um, and boy, talk about memorizing. I've never had to memorize anything my whole life. And <laughs> I mean, then that just split my brain in half of if I'm memorizing, well, I can't really act. And just that that uh, process of merging those two of, of memorizing it so well that I don't have to think about it so I can act, right? Right. So, um, so was the was Babcock Studios uh, where you learned your acting yeah. discipline, or where yep. you were introduced to it? Yep, Babcock Studios. Um, I researched a lot of places in Denver and or around Denver, and that just looked like somewhere where I would fit in well and feel comfortable. I mean, yeah, just I wanted to feel comfortable and safe and whatnot, and I love it. It's it's definitely a great place to learn. Um, you feel safe, I feel safe, and the people, everyone's just for each other and encouraging, and you just learn a lot. I mean, they really do challenge you too, to step up and not just settle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you remember your first scene? Um, hmm. 
there is one that was really challenging and oh that was when um i finally got like it you know i don't want to say todd broke me but he helped me <laughs> you had your aha moment i had my aha moment and i was able to let the tears come um oh what i can't remember the movie oh oh I Do you remember it. how the body felt? You know, can you describe the feeling as it? I mean, and was there relief when you let that go? Yeah, there was that moment of embarrassment, but then the oh gosh, I'm in a safe place, and everyone, like, everyone is for me. Like, and it just, I was like, let's let it go. You know, kind of like let it go, and then just moved into. The, the script or the character. And what he did was he asked me about what's something that I can remember that that's, I guess, sad or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I was like, Oh yeah. Um, you know, whatever. And he goes, well, do you remember her name? And I was like, Oh, he goes, really? So can you say her name? And I was like, are you kidding me? No. And, and then right when he said that, I was thinking the name and bleh, you know, just like um, the tears came. He's like, oh, good. Okay. Okay. Keep going. And I was like, really? Okay, we'll go. This is so awkward, but let's go with it. Um, yeah, there was that, there was that, that relief that, and kind of like a, a big, it almost like, like there's an ocean and it was, it felt like, I got to push the waves, the ocean apart, kind of like whatever was stopping me, kind of like um, just that fluid feeling of something just, that just kept stopping me. And I got to like just part it and push it away. And then everything, and then I got to like just let it out. Yeah, it was kind of like that. Did you have a definition or an idea of what you thought acting was? as compared to what you think of it as now? Yeah, definitely. I thought it was, um, I thought it was easier than it is. <laughs> I thought it was much easier. Um, I thought it was just pretending, pretending, um, pretending your emotions. Like in improv, you really do pretend and then you just, make it really big, but you can still still tell you're pretending, you know, um, it's almost like, um, it is comedy, right? right? But with acting, it was, I would be presenting this character and it's not pretending. It would be trying to actually react the way a human would really react. And I was like, wow, this is very different and it looks so different on screen too you can tell who's pretending and who can really reach down and grab that i don't know emotion that situation i think we're, we see that eye to eye um my first i don't know if you knew that i had a, a another acting coach other than todd mm -hmm. um my first acting coach who introduced me to acting to begin with um, is also a therapist and I, his definition when he uh, introduced me to it was, you know, act, a lot of people come in thinking that acting is um, pretend emotions in a pretend situation. It's real emotions in a pretend situation. Yes. Yeah, that's a really, that's it. And yeah. just so that was, I was like, oh, and I heard that and that's the definition I liked. And then bringing that into, you know, uh, Babcock Studios was the same type of thing. Like, all right, so my challenge is always like, because I forgot what, you know, oh, I'm, you know, sad. What does sad feel like? What does happy feel like, you know, body-wise? How does that make, you know, how does it manifest in myself? I'm trying to label these different things. Like during that scene, you know, I was feeling this, you know, and, you know, oh, okay. When I saw it on film, I was like, oh, that looks more anxious. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. You know, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because you don't, I don't know what my face, everything looks like to other people. So, yeah, it's always good to watch yourself and see 
like, yeah, nope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we actually got a chance to work together on a project for um, for Jet. Remember that one, the um, uh, Executive Protection. Yes, so fun. Yeah, very. That was so fun. Yeah, that was the first time we actually met. Was mm -hmm. on that, uh, you know, and I was uh, directing the thing for Jet. And yeah. I remember we were at the library filming in the, the, the one little green room studio they had there. Yeah. Uh, in the little office. That was so much fun. <laughs> How did, do you remember, you know, what were your thoughts during that? Um, can you describe, you know, because that was uh, like, was that your first film project? Yeah. First one ever. So I was honored to be part of it. Um, and then just being able to play two different role characters two different that roles i know that was awesome very was, different yeah. and just you know going for it um but it was uh it was just fun it was so fun dictates the only dick she gets in her sad life oh no no i have three former students interested in me wait never mind that she's suspended yeah it was so much fun so fun. Have you done any other? Oh wait, then we did the other forty-eight um, over at the school. Yes, yeah. And that uh, one, it, one thing I liked about that one is you wanted to participate, and when we came into that project, we had a plan, and then so many you know things would happen, and we had to solve the problem and pretty soon. And based on the storyline, we're like, and you became one of the central figures in the in the short film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, ah. And you did a superb job. And my favorite part of that was when me and you were working together on the one scene where we were in the hallway, the walkie talkie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were walking, we did it with one camera and we did it multiple times. Uh, and we just walked up and down, just practicing the lines and just trying to find the fit. And that scene I love so much. I used it for my video reel because I really liked how that scene went. Oh, that's so cool. I know that was really fun because we were trying different things and then we like landed on, on it like that's it that feels right and oops turning off <laughs> okay uh, we're like yeah that's it that's the one that feels right and um, it just it fell into place like it just felt like a pretend situation a real what was that a, real emotions in a pretend situation Yes, we got there. Yeah, we got there. It was. And it, you're it, it mad. Was, <laughs> what? It was mad. Yeah. You were mad. So thank goodness. Now that I know what you usually do, you were just like, uh, you channeled it instead of like <laughs> smashing whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was funny. Remember, remember uh, to get us there um, because I was setting the pace for that walk, and you were trying to keep up. And we we had the discussion. It's like, no, you keep. You know, you take charge of the pace. That, you know, and that it was that conflict of, you know, that I think because remember how I turn around and come back to you and dancing, yeah, it it's like fun. dancing, right? Yeah, you lead, yeah. no, yeah, I lead, lead. Okay, you follow, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, I thought it just brought a good dynamic to that scene. Um, and then we had such a great cinematographer, Malad was there, you know, um, he did such a great job capturing it. You said there wouldn't be any other issues if I, if I got rid of Rob, no further malfunctions. How could I have predicted love would progress so fast? This is unusual for any machine that I've coached human emotions. I'm going to graduate. I'm going to become Wynn. Well, Rob is the only one in the program love. that had more cycles than before me. Before he ruined your house. I have a plan. I'm hoping for a big win today. Um, so now uh, we, we move along into your, we've introduced you to uh, ballroom dancing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we've talked a little Another bit about challenge. this. Another yeah. challenge. Another talent. <laughs> More Another lessons. Um, let's talk about you walking into the studio for the first time there. What were you feeling yeah. then? Um, pretty open. Um, I, Cause I, I love music and I just knew, um, you know, I like to dance just regular, not regular. What's regular dance anyway, right? Um, <laughs> I like to like just dance so by myself, you know, like club dancing or whatever. Um, so I was like, I enjoy this and I can't wait to figure 
out what, you know, how to do formal dancing. And then um, I was just really open to it. I mean, I was excited. um, one of the things I like about it is because as it relates to like acting and performing, especially acting, where you're having that challenge of connecting with your scene partner, you know, yeah. ballroom, you know, you, you are dancing with a partner, so you have to be connected to, you know, uh, to each other's movements or else it go, you know, you can tell it's awkward. It, it becomes yeah. awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so you've and you've done a couple of dance lessons uh, since then. Do you have a favorite dance style? It keeps changing. Uh, it was swing. <laughs> As they introduce swing. them to you, yeah, you're like, oh, this is my new favorite. <laughs> yeah. And then it was what was it, the rumba mm-hmm. or rumba? Um, and now I'm like, I'm learning something new in tango, and I was like, ooh, I really like the tango. Um, it just changes because. I'm just learning the beginning steps and every time they add one thing, it's all new and shiny. And I think that's my favorite dance now. Um, But anyway, yeah. Is there one that you find easier than the other? Swing is actually, it seems easy for some reason, probably because I've had good leaders and just a few uh, tricks and tips of learning how to follow. Mm Um, it was easy to just keep moving um, and and the turning. I love turning. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the swing, there's a lot more opportunity, or at least, you know, so far, they there's a lot more turning and flip, not flipping around. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get flipped around now. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's just a lot more turning and and whatnot. It was, it was just that I like the movement, the fast, like the, the fast pace to it. And the, yeah. 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 I like, I mean, yeah. Oh, it's the same type of thing. It's like, ah, I love them all. Uh, (laughs) I I had ones that I feared more than others. I can give you that. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Like a country Western two step was one that I feared, uh, for a while because you're so fast paced and you're worried about your footwork. Yeah. Um, and cha cha was another one, but instructor, that was the first performance she forced me to do with Cha Cha. She knew you. <laughs> mm-hmm. she did, and right after that performance, I was like, "I'm what's fine with Cha Cha." <laughs> I got all that fear and anxiety out through the. And to be honest, I don't remember if it went very well. I to be I don't remember it very well. <laughs> You'll find that. Uh, my, I, I remember guess that's my a first, good sign. <laughs> what's that? I guess that's a good sign. Oh yeah, it's common. I mean, like uh, for like for like dance performers, they get you know when they're learning, they get up there and they come out and like, I don't remember anything we just did. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's that stage fright and you know like all that pressure to remember what you're going to be doing. Um, yeah. And they come up and like, did we do it? Did we do it? How'd it look? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, oh. One thing I did forget to to talk about is your you do stand up. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> I, I've done it. I took a class and did one show, class show, and then um, yeah. Since then, now that everything's virtual, mm. um, I've been signing up with a ton of open mics online and just going and trying it out and testing with new material and. I love it because it's so international. Because anyone can pop on and. It's funny because sometimes it's in the afternoon, my time, or it's nine or 10 p.m. their time. And then everyone says where they're from and it really is pretty international. And I get to learn every, all the different cultural uh, nuances of their comedy, you know, and it's just um, so like, what is it collaborative collaborative yeah um and but it is different it is different because you can't really get up and move around it's so different so you just like see this and yeah some I, people I, hold a microphone and some people so when you got up yeah. there like i mean is it do you feel like the energy of the audience when you're up on you know when you did your one show oh oh when i actually was on stage mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, you feel the energy of the audience. And you're like, you give the energy and then you and you receive it back and um so it, that's like what I bring it up because it sounds like is that one of the challenges of doing it virtually is because you don't have that energy? Yeah. Yes, you're right, actually. That you, you're lacking that because um I mean you with uh with Zoom you can't everyone can't talk at once or make noises at once, you know, it kind of breaks in and out and then you break in and out. And so um, you just hear laughter here and there, but then sometimes because everyone's just sitting in their living room, you get a lot of this. <laughs> and so then when you see that, you're like, oh. So it's hard to gauge, especially if you're doing new material, that'd be hard to gauge with, you know, the, you know, was that actually funny? <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Do you, uh, when you go up there, was there a different fear then? doing the stand-up versus like doing the acting? Like, or I wouldn't say fear. Was there a different feeling going up on and performing in front of people? No, uh, for me, it was the same. Um, same across the board. And it was just something that I haven't done before. So, you know, when, when it's something new, um, it's still actually, it's less fear. I think it's just getting up on stage. And so it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Um, it's, uh, the fear doesn't change, but I get more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. uh, even if it's stand up. And stand up is actually, it's not as scary as improv <laughs> because it's so memorized oh, yeah. and yeah. scripted every move everything you say so there's a safety net that i feel um where improv it's like it could go horribly or it could go great um let's see what happens <laughs> i abort mission i pee a little i run back to my room shut the door and i talk to myself grace maybe if you don't go number two today <laughs> your breakfast will reabsorb back into your body system for a good lunch. I don't know, I don't know, the, the logic of a nine-year-old, I don't know if it worked, it, I wiped it out of my mind. But you know, my mom's getting older now, and she's looking at senior living communities, and she really wants me to help. And I have to say, oof, no mom, it costs money. <laughs> Um, so is there like a, like if you, like, a, here's what I'm thinking is like, you know, you get the opportunity to star on the, you know, silver screen in a movie. What role would it, would you want to, to try for that? You know, would it be Western? Would it be a horror film? Like you said. A number one would be comedy like Bridesmaids. And I, I would love to be yeah like the the best friend or the attack antagonist um and then second i would love to be in a horror movie like jordan peele's um black mirror ish uh, twilight zoney horror film where i'm the creepy <laughs> person <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to be the one that's scared and screaming and whatnot, but I want to be the the very um, subtly creepy person that just gets under your skin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so, all right, everybody, thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Um, well, until next time, uh, see you later. Glorious cycle, students. Glorious, Glorious cycle, coach. Today we have a new unit to replace Ra'a. Please incorporate him into the class. I am ready. I am hoping for a big win today.